What up, people? This is Bonjour. We're going to an Argentina asado. At El Porteño's, we're gonna have bife de chorizo, some empanadas, some chorizo with criolla, and a bunch of Argentine treats. Hopefully this place is good. It's our first steakhouse this whole trip. We're kind of looking forward to it because it's supposed to be a good meal, right? So, no more kebabs, some real, real carne. All right, is that her? No, I don't think <laughs> she was looking at you like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, everybody, a lot of people look at you like, what the fuck? You're walking around with a camera in your hand, talking to a stick, basically. Yeah, that's weird. But we're here in Argentina. I mean, we're not here in Argentina. We're here in Spain. <laughs> it feels like freaking Argentina. Yeah, stop. <laughs> but we're, we're going to... Very, very yeah, we're going to an Argentine steakhouse, so we're excited. Let's go to El Porteños. For all my people that live in Valencia, all my viewers that live in Valencia, I was wondering, we're gonna go to Sagardi or this one, El Porteños, which is Argentine, the other one's a Vasco, a Gamo. No, what is it? What was Sagardi? What part of Spain was it from? A Vasco? Vasco. Yeah, so Vasco. I always get it confused Vasco da Gama because we used to have a soccer league in our hometown of Hamilton called that. So I always think it's Gamma or Vasco. I don't know. But it was either between El Porteño or Sagardi. And we picked El Porteño's, eh? It looks, um, they both look equally fancy, I would say. Yeah. But the other one was just a little bit more fancy. And with Enzo, sometimes it's a, it's, it's a challenge because a lot of people are there for a good meal and a good time. and. Last thing you need is a kid causing havoc. So we kind of keep that in mind a little sometimes. But sometimes we also don't care, right? Yeah. <laughs> but I just, I will love that into that and yell and scream and Yeah, and throw things and cry. try to because climb people's tables. Yeah. Yeah, and I don't know, it's not nice to see him throw cups around. <laughs> but hey, that's the life of a baby. But we're walking. This is the place we always walk, kind of. Everything is this way, yeah. Everything is this way. We made it to El Porteño. It's hard to, uh, when you get the men when you get your plates first. And the menu is second. No? Why is hard? You can do this. Yeah, I guess you can do that. I'm just not that capable. I'm gonna get a copa of vino, eh? Copa de vino, okay. I think wine with meat is the best combination. Yeah, copa of vino. Just a copa, papito. And then, yeah, we're at El Porteños. Yeah, Sarada, I see it up there. It's beautiful. And it's here, here, and here. So there's three buildings. So it must be. Pretty popular here, right? Oh, yeah, you're that's right. It's three billion, so we're here. It's heated, it's cold. Thank god it's heated because it's cold outside. And then maybe we're gonna go check out some Lu Luciano's ice cream, eh? Luciano's. Yes. I never can you believe it from Mar del Plata, and I never have it in my life. Never, and that's from Mar del Plata. Yes, that's crazy. Yes. See, what was I telling you guys? More Argentina everywhere. Argentina is Valencia. I think that's. Probably why these guys, her sister and brother, brother-in-law moved here because it's like Argentina and they miss Argentina so much that they're like, you know what, we're going to live in a second version of Argentina. But let's look at this menu here. I'm going to move my plate over a little bit. Let's check they this have out. A okay. But it's Cabernet Malbec. So we got this, huh? Empanadas, 340. Empanadas. What's this one? Two personas, minimo two personas, yeah? Mm -hmm. What does this mean? El menu? I don't get it. Minimo two personas. Precio por son, por, por persona. The price is per person. So this is the tasting menu that we were talking about earlier. 38 90 per person. So, and you have to have two people. But we're not going to go for that. We're going to go for empanadas get a couple empanadas and then get 
some grilled starters like a Creole sausage. I think that's, uh, that's what is that called? A chorizo. And then we're gonna get some meat, I think. And I think all the meat, all meats come with potatoes, so it's good. And I think that's probably what we're gonna do, eh? Okay. Or what do you think? You want a pasta or you like meat? Nah. Oh, me. Oh, me. <laughs> no, we're going to Italy later, so we can have pasta here. Yeah. And Exclusive. we're going to have trapezinos in Italy. Trapezinos. Woo! But yeah, I know what I'm already getting. I'm going to get the order tenderloin. For me also. You want to order for you? You order for me. All right, I'm going to go to the Argentine uh, menu, the Spanish menu, because it's I know it, the cuts are more in Argentine because of where we used to live. Fife de chorizo for sure, that's what daddy's getting right there. And then, bife de chorizo, and then I think my wife will get, what do you want, you want beef? Yes. Yeah, so then, yeah, you can't, we shouldn't get two beef with chorizo, should we? Or you want that? Ojo de bife? Ojo de bife? How about that? Ojo de bife. Ribeye. That's a nice ribeye she can get. Or I'm going to get the tenderloin, I think. El tenderloin. Grilled meat. Creole sausage. Actually, rib, rib of beef. What's rib of beef? Rib of beef. Oh, so they have the grilled meat. Minimum two persons again? Yes. So what? We, so if we both get that, we both have to get the same thing? Yes. Seriously? Yes. I can't just get a grilled meat vegetable? You can ask him everything. Alright, we'll wait for him then, eh? Oh, we're a bit early on our reservation, so maybe we're a bit early, so we don't know. But I'm going to take you to a walk and check out their mailbags in the window. Vamos por las entradas. Vamos a pedir dos empanadas. Una y una. Una de qué? Una de criolla de ternera. Y la otra también, pero tucumana. And yeah. you want also a, a sausage? Yeah, chorizo. the chorizo with the chimichurri. Chorizo and chimichurri, but that for an entrance also? Yeah, we'll have it at the beginning, yeah, to start. Uh, and a cup of vino. Y una copa de vino. <laughs> <laughs> Which one? Red. Red. Argentino. Argen well, I don't know. Uh, just uh, whatever. Which one do they have here? The, you okay, want this Malbec? Is the bottle. Yeah, this is uh, the bottle. I have for glass, I have Camaleon Organico or Dome Musquet. The two, it's a Argentinian wine. Oh, yeah, I have the Argentinian for sure. Malbec. Pero Malbec. Mel Malbec? Malbec, yeah. And that's the best one, eh? And then, uh, I, and we got a question for this. So if I, if I get this, she has to get this too? The they mixed, the mixed meat. Me this, yeah. Yeah. yeah okay. Persons. All right. I, I was just checking. So it's no, it's no good. You don't want but that. Me una, uh, All right. Yeah. Water again. Uh, <laughs> oh. You want we order everything now? Or sure. We, we might as well. You wanna? Because it's only one more thing, right? Okay. Sure. I'll have the. I'll have the beef and yeah, chorizo. Yeah. <laughs> I'll have the beef and chorizo. And what do you have in? The uh, ribeye? I'll hold the beef. That? If you want, yeah. I don't care. Even if it's meat, I don't care. <laughs> Alright. Okay, and the ribeye and the beef and chorizo, I guess. Perfect. <laughs> you want the meat medium, medium well, medium well? Uh, like medium well. And how do you want your you want yours well done? Yes. Yes. I want to cut the Yeah, so unfortunately, most of it didn't work for some reason. This camera is screwing up. I don't know why. But uh, if we wanted to get a mixed meat platter, I couldn't just get one. We'd have to get two. So that sucks, kind of, huh? I don't wonder why, because maybe because if they cut it all up, it's better to cook it all than half of it. I don't know, but I was kind of disappointed. That's okay, we're having meat there even. Yeah, we're having a good steak and a good meal here, yeah? They didn't ask but... us what kind of potatoes we wanted, yeah? It just comes with Everything potatoes. Everything comes with potatoes? Yeah, but maybe, 
I thought there might be like a different kind of potato. I guess not. I guess not. We'll find out, right? We're here at El Porteño's here. It's nice. It's a nice place. Inside is actually really nice, though. So. This is the zero zero, eh? Who gets zero <laughs> percent? You you should have got a a rattler, no? No, it's okay. You like that one. Yeah. The tostada, Mahao. I don't even know I, how to say I it. I don't think I tried it. No, you didn't. I don't think. You want this thing, the wine? No, it's okay. I trust you guys. In Argentina, le hicieron eso de que tenía que probar. Dice, está un poquito me das. No entendía. ¿Quieres la silla al final? Uh, should we get the chair, Nancy? We can try, yeah. Podemos probar. Perfect. We've been saying no about the chair for so long, and then all of a sudden, yeah, get the chair. We're gonna try it out though, but I'm gonna get this. Ready? Look at this, son. They have a very beautiful color. Yeah, look at that color, huh? Can you see it? Ooh. It smells good. Do you wanna smell it? Smell that wine, baby. Mm. It smells good, eh? <laughs> She's like, mmm, She's like, next. <laughs> next, like, who cares? Here it is. This is a, a little appetizer in the house. It looks like meatballs, is it? Yes. Try it out. And some bread. Is it sausage or meatball? Mm -hmm. It's meatball, meatball right? Like, it tastes good. It tastes good? You approve? Mm, the sauce is amazing. Yeah? Now daddy has to give it a go, eh? Let's try this meatball here. Ooh. -hoo. Mm. <laughs> it's pretty good though, eh? I like a good meatball, and this is a good meatball, no? You like it? Yes. Mama's happy. She's happy with good food and good meat. You know, in Croatia, we eat, like meat every day, every single day here. We ate meat, but just not like high quality meat. It was like, always like kebab, kebab or chicken usually, eh? Lots of chicken. But or like smoked meats like ham on Iberico or something crazy. But here, it's our first real steak, real meal. Mmm. It's been only what, a month? <laughs> God damn. The empanadas and the grilled sausage. Do you like to keep it or no? No, I don't think so. Eh? Yeah, maybe the we'll use this little plate. Sí. 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 Gracias. And there's a sausage, yeah? Let's see what oh, this is. Oh, ¿sabes qué? What's, that, what's happening? The fork. Mm. Yeah. He took the fork, yeah? ¿Sabes qué? Los cubiertos, seguro. Sí. No. No, it's good, eh? The chimichurri? Mm. Look at the chimichurri sauce, eh? Think it'll hold up to the one in Argentina? Could be. Let's see. Let's see what we're going here with the chorizo, eh? The chori pan. It's a chori pan now. Mmm. That's damn good. That's a good sausage right now. That's a damn good chorizo. Mm. You gotta try it. Me? Try that chorizo. She usually doesn't like sausage, but 
No, I like chorizo. I like choripan. I'm gonna try this one. Okay. Mm. And see. Here. Mmm. Enzo liked it. How is it? It's very smooth, no hard chunks or nothing, eh? Is that a good sausage or not? And the sauce is so good. This is it better than Don Julio? Don Julio was amazing. Or what's the other place? La Cabrera. La Cabrera. Was it better know. than those two Argentine joints? This sauce is very good, but this is not chimichurri. What is it? I don't know. Just... Just some spices and some oil, eh? Yeah. That's not the typical. I don't know what you can ask. Maybe a chimichurri sausage. But we don't know. If but... it is, it's too, too simple, too... Sweet. Usually chimichurri is spicy. Yeah. The Criosha. Maybe it's the Criosha? No. Yeah, this is a Criosha sausage. No, the Criosha has... Yeah, this one has the red peppers in it. Here. But, me, I personally like this sausage. It's a little... Mm. Yeah, it just tastes like basil. Uh, some more oregano or rosemary and stuff like that. <clears throat> but it's smooth. What I like about sausage is when you bite into it, you don't get any cartilage or anything crazy like that. It's just smooth meat. Mm. That's beautiful. But Don Julio and La Cabrera, unreal places. Nobody's stopping that. That's the best in Argentina, never mind Spain. Here, try uh, empanada now. Which one's which? There are two different ones here. So we got this one, the typical one, then we got this. This one's a Tucumano one for sure, eh? Because the way it's built, it's like, see how this one's like a half moon on its back? This one's like standing out like a mohawk. Here, try this one. But look at this. Damn, look at that sausage. Are you guys hungry? Whoa, that's beautiful, isn't it? <laughs> who, yes. cu who cuts the empanada like that? Yeah, one for you, one for me. What do uh -huh. you mean? So this one is the Tucumana. All right, try it. Mm. Tucumana is so juicy. Love it. And this one is the... Uh, the Criosha one, eh? Mm -hmm. How is it? What does it taste like? Your man is super good. Super good, super smooth, super suave. Suave. So here's the Criosha one. This one has eggs in it, I think. Yeah. And this one, what? This this one's pork or beef? No, it's all the same. The difference is the mana they cut it with knife. And the uh, other one is ground beef. This one's ground beef. So I, I technically, I mean, I usually go to the ground beef. Mmm. Your Creosha one's pretty good, I would say. But, have I had better empanadas here? Mm. Have you? These ones are good. Have you had better empanadas? Mm -hmm. Good day. But it's pretty good, right? Uh -huh. The worst empanadas were from this one lady in La Bocaria. They were so dry. So dry. Well, these ones are at least juicy and moist. Like, look at this. Look at this bad boy. You know what I mean? That looks like the meat in the can of tuna. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mmm. The tucumano. God damn it. Mmm. Just missing some salsa picante. And it's damn perfect. I would get this one over. The Criosha one, hundred percent. But now it's onto the steaks and the potatoes next. Mm. Beautiful. So far, amazing. Wow. Oh, the beef. Yeah, beef. It is beautiful. Uh, do you want more chimichurri? If they have salsa picante, 
¿Salsa picante? Algo de salsa picante. Ah, ¿quieres ese pancito hijo? <risa> you want salsa picante? Yeah, I like Yo it. Tabasco. ¿Tabasco? Yeah, sure. Va bien, muchas gracias. ¿Qué querés hijo? <risa> Enzo just jacks the, uh, he just took the, he's like, don't take my bread, and took it, eh? How is that? Eh? Look at all this, salsa picante, eh? muy picante, Valentina's what you have picante, here? Tabasco. Tabasco, Tabasco, make, I'm gonna try the, the uh, llama one. This one is chipotle. Chipotle, yes, but that one's better. I don't really like a Tabasco, I like the, Tabasco. are these ones hot, they say? What's the level here? This is, this, and she's saying this is not a traditional uh, chimichurri. chimichurri, it's a little bit different. Chimichurri is spicy a little bit. Yeah, but this is, um, yeah, this is the one I'm going to use for sure. Okay, I'm going to cook for Enzi, okay? Yeah, cook that steak. Is it okay? It's pink? It's a little bit pink. But what it's do okay. you think? I think it's okay. Okay. Hopefully mine's not well done. That'll be a pain in the ass. Well, let's cut down this uh, beef de chorizo. It's just a sirloin steak, basically. So far, it's tough. I'll tell you this, or this knife isn't sharp, but it should cut like butter. Yes, here, I'm gonna cut it again. So far, it's hard as hell to cut. <laughs> Look at this, mine's Gushin blood. You like that? That is nice. Look at it. Mmm. Mmm. The taste is magic though. Look at that. Mmm. Let's see with a little bit of hot sauce on it. It's perfect, I think, mom. Yes? How about yours? No, it's okay. I wanted a little bit more for the baby, but... I'll give you a little bit more. No problem. No, no, no. I really wanted a little bit of wine. You want wine? Yes. You're a little bit of wine, and we make that little bit more. I cut the border. Do you have a problem? I'm sure that it's better for the baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's pretty good, I think. I think it's good. Like this? Yeah. I mean, it's good for me. It's good for me. But it's chunchy, in reality. It's some good hot sauce, though. I'm going to cut a little bit of a piece of a piece of a piece. Enzo, you want some? Here. I'm sure that you're not going to eat all of it, but... No, no. Thank you. Thank you. Mickey, she had to send it back, eh? Look at this, though. Mine's done to perfection. Look at that. It's beautiful. <laughs> Mine's done to perfection. Mine's done to perfection. Mm -hmm. Mickey, she's just scared because of the baby, and she doesn't like the baby eating red meat, but it was done perfectly. <laughs> Your wine. Grass ass. A nice gentle pour, eh? <laughs> That's it. Beautiful. Mm. Mm. The taste in the bar in the barbecue is so different. Yeah, it's way better, huh? The potatoes are in the grill. They're no oh, magical. You like the potatoes on the grill? Yes. Yeah, we gotta cook more on the grill, eh, when we get home. We haven't cooked on the grill for a long time and it mm. when you have something like this. It's just like you need to cook on the grill more. Yeah, but it's because it rains a lot. What's that? <laughs> it's because it rains a lot. Yeah, but we can cook on the front porch, you know? Yes. It's daddy the one. Yeah, I gotta do it, eh? Daddy's the cook of the house. But I'm telling you, the steaks here, not here in Spain, I mean like Argentina steaks, like, it's just like, look at this. Look at this. That's beautiful, isn't it? I'm just gonna kill it with some hot sauce. I know I shouldn't. I know it's I know it's criminal to put sauce on just beautiful meat like this, but I like I, I can't help myself. I like a little spice. 
Is that wrong? Is that so wrong? He's crazy, huh? Mmm. But this steak is perfectly seasoned. You don't have to add anything, any sauce, any A1 barbecue sauce. Mmm. It's beautiful. I like this. Are you happy we came here? Yes. Baby, this tastes like home. What do you mean? Like you're, you're back in Argentina? It's crazy thinking that we have water. You want water? Crazy. It's crazy that we have this meal every Sunday if you want. And we only have to just throw it to the grill and not think about it. Yeah. And when you come to a place like Europe, you realize, oh man, we are so lucky, mm -hmm. right? Because you can just get a good steak at home. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's still kind of expensive for people, but it's not like, it's not dirty, but it's regular food, right? So good. And like, look at that. Look at her, she's loving it. She's, she thinks she's back at home having all these damn empanadas. Now a beef de chorizo, some ribeye. Oh, hold that beef there. Oh, hold that beef there, yeah. <laughs> How is your beef and chorizo? It's amazing. It's amazing. Look at this. Like I said, look at that, boy. And the other one that you also like in Argentina was bola de lomo, remember? Yeah. The lomo. <clears throat> beef de lomo. Beef de lomo. Yeah. Now that I think about it, I didn't see that cut on the menu. Beef de lomo. Did you? Look at that. I don't know what Buddy's up to there. But. There's a bunch of bags and a, a COVID mask rocking out. That's his life, you know? Here it is. Mmm. Mmm. You want some Enzo? See, we're almost cool. Mm. You Not me. Your... I can kill it. He didn't like the potatoes. It's high, huh? But anyways, we're going to kill this, enjoy our dinner, and then tell you how we feel. Should you come here? Should you not? Is it worth it? So far, hell yeah, it's worth it, but get to that in the rest and, and the and the price the price is still yet to come we gotta tell you about the price the steaks are almost done it's almost time to go but i'll tell you it's beautiful having uh this option and thank god we took it i walked by here I maybe looked at this menu like six six times, six different days before we actually decided because we're gonna go to this other place that looked a little bit more fancy, but this place is good, I think, eh? Good choice? Good choice, definitely. Mmm. Argentina beef. Can't go wrong. Imagine some guy putting hot sauce on it. <laughs> Damn. What that's ruining it, eh? It's almost ruining it because the beef tastes so good. But I just like a little bit of spice. I don't know why it's a big deal, yeah? Like in the steak room, you get thrown off a bridge for that crowd. But cheers. By far our best meal in Spain. Out of steakhouses, I'd say this is up there. It's not better than Don Julio or La Cabrera in my eyes, but this one's damn good. What would you get of it? A nine? Yes, 9.5. 9 9.5 Gs. Yeah, I'd give it a solid, solid nine probably. I don't know. Perfect would be, it's hard to get perfect. Don Julio is perfect. And nobody is catching up to that guy. I don't even know if Don Julio is a real guy, but damn. But what a combination of wine, red wine, and a damn good steak. Melbeck, right? That's what I'm having? Melbeck. Mmm. With some Argentine beef. Mmm. Brings me back. Except for, this is like four times more expensive. So we're going to hit you with the price and tell you what you guys think. Is this expensive or was it cheap for two people to eat? I Me, mean, I think it's going to come to 60 bucks, right? 60 euros. So... We'll see if it comes to 60 euros. I think it will. I had two glasses of wine. That's eight. Nine. Nine. We had a beer. Water. A water. Two empanada. 
dos empanadas, um, a chorizo, and two steaks, which is the steaks alone were 25. So I think it's gonna come to more. It's gonna come to 80, 80 euros, I'd say. Well, damn, right? Well, damn, we just blew our budget out of the sand. <laughs> mm. Coming down to our last place now. Adios from Argentina in Valencia. Argentina, Valencia. Look at that. That's beautiful red, huh? You wouldn't eat that? No way. Look at that. This thing's moo. Look at that. Look at that. What do we see here? An empty plate. Last bite. Last bite. Well, goddamn. That was a good damn meal, wasn't it? Well, for 10 you How was it? It was amazing. <laughs> the meat was perfect and the potatoes also. It tastes so juicy and beautiful. Are you more of a meat or potatoes kind of gal? Yes, I am. A meat one. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> you know me. <laughs> and what does it come to? I... Ooh. What did we say? You said 60 at the beginning. And then I said? 80. Ooh, daddy was right. 79. 79. The king of beers, Leo Messi's in the house. Last beer, and we're out of here. But 80 euros, was it worth it? Is it more expensive where you're from? An Argentine steakhouse? What are you guys talking about? The best beef in the world. How much would you pay? How much? Me? I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> 80, I guess. No, it's mildly expensive now. Ooh. Considering we paid $60 to make our own soup at Yuan uh, Laosi, this is a bargain, no? They yes, cook it, it for you, you get good meat, you get actual real beef, Argentine beef, the best beef in the world. Uh, you get beers, you got wine, you got a whole bunch of stuff. So 80 euros? I don't know. I think it was kind of a steal. I think if you get this anywhere else in the Western world, I think it's quite a bit of money. In Argentina, of course, it should be cheaper. But who knows with the inflation of the peso? You work a week and by the time your paycheck comes, that paycheck means nothing anymore. How does that even work? I don't know. But that's Argentina, baby. But the beef is gorgeous.